After the accident, I really looked around for something to get back involved in, some sort of sport. Uh, I tried a few, but for basketball, it was the team nature. And also it was just the, the universal characteristics of wheelchair basketball, which is the same court, the same hoops, the same ball. Anywhere in the world there's a basketball court, you can play wheelchair basketball. I was injured in a car accident in 1994. I was in year 12 doing my HSC that year. And unfortunately it was a story that you read in the paper all the time. A bunch of young guys in a car uh, being irresponsible, being reckless. I wasn't driving, however I was a passenger, had my seatbelt on. Fortunately that's probably why I'm still here. Uh, and that was, that was it, we were young, um, thought we were bulletproof and things didn't go out how we planned and before you knew it, um, I was getting the news I'd never walk again. Um, it forced me to, to realign my thoughts and my priorities and grow up pretty quickly. You play the hand you're dealt. My first Paralympics was in Athens in 2004, where the Australian team, we won silver. Um, we lost to the Canadians who, in all honesty at the time, were a better team. Rather than pack it in and say we were happy with where we were, we dug in, we got better, we worked hard and we came back and won the gold in 2008. And this time round in 2012 in London, uh, this will be an opportunity to go and win another gold medal. So that's the plan. Balancing basketball with other components of life, being full-time work and uh, family, including a two and a half year old, uh, is very challenging. Uh, it requires a lot of understanding from all those involved. Uh, despite all the individual work and the individual accolades that come with it, overriding all of that is that you're there with Australia across your back, or across your chest, and you are there representing a country that you love. And I think that's, for me, is the scariest part of going to the Paralympics. There's a saying that I have which is, don't play the game before the whistle, and that means don't spend all day thinking about what might happen before the whistle goes because it's pointless and you just end up confusing yourself. So there's an approach of just being relaxed, know that you're ready, and that's really the biggest key is knowing that you put in the hard work, you've done all the time, and you're ready to win the, ready to go out there and perform. To actually succeed and see the Australian flag raised to advance Australia Fair, there is no sweeter um, view or memory that I have in my entire life. So that, um, I think that sums it up, that's, that's what it's all about.